Hey, so I wanted to talk a little bit more about this idea of sandbox improvisation, um, which is a technique and also a way of being a little bit less scared of improvisation um, because the idea of a sandbox, of course, is that you're in the box, you can't leave the borders, but within the borders you can go wherever you want. So what a lot of times what we do in music is we establish the borders. For example, if I say, I would like to uh, use the blues uh, scale for this improv today. Okay, so that's my, that's my box, right? I'm gonna try to stay within those notes, but within those notes, for example, I can do multiple octaves, I can do different rhythms. I can uh, play slow. Okay, I can do a lot of different things. And the first thing I'm going to tell myself, of course, is that I can't really do anything wrong, right? Um, uh, as, you know, as long as I'm staying within my, my borders. Now, eventually, your borders are going to get bigger, right? They don't have to be a scale. They can be several scales or something like that. But uh, you're going to start out, of course, with something that feels um, kind of safe, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. So... <coughs> play a phrase. Let me try a different phrase. And you can ignore the wrong note that I just played there. So, um, so uh, think of this, and okay, so let's talk about some other things you can do. You can add some left hand in. Okay. Um, play my left hand in octaves. Of different thing, I, things I can do. Uh, something that blues players, of course, will know how to do is while they're doing their improvisation, they're going to have a chord progression going, right? The blues chord progression, which you might already know. So today I'm just going to just demonstrate a, a short improv based on only the blues scale, okay? So uh, I'm sticking to those six notes, and if you're wondering what notes I'm playing specifically, I'm playing in C, so I'm going C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat. And then I've got the next C up, as, uh, and I can do several octaves that way. Okay, so my right hand is going to be playing around with that. Uh, so I'm going to try to be in some left hand. I'm going to try to change up the tempo, change up the rhythms, and let's you know, let's see what we can do with this. I'll try to start simply, and then, which is always a good way to go, start simple, start to branch out.
So, you know, go, as, go on as long as you want. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, this is mainly for, uh, for you. This is for fun. This is not necessarily a performance situation if you're at a piano and you want to do some improv. Um, and again, um, work with the sound that, that you're making. Don't um, have this perfect image in your mind. Just have an image of the sound that expresses what you want to express, which sounds kind of vague. But um, anyway, have fun. Uh, enjoy this video, and uh, talk to you later. <laughs>